Hello everyone, friends, soon it will be the 110th anniversary of the most famous shipwreck in history. I am of course talking about the Titanic. The collision with the iceberg occurred on April 14th to 15th, 1912. So, Tony and I have prepared for you 14 little known facts about this unsinkable ship and its wreck. Come on Tony, stop messing around. Look, this person opened our video and is thirsty for more knowledge. We can't keep them waiting. Let's go. So, it took 23 tons of grease, steam engine oil, and liquid soap to launch the ship into the water. This was necessary to lubricate the rails on which the Titanic went down from the shipyard into the water. Because of a silly coincidence, there weren't any binoculars on the ship. The captain fired his second officer, Blair, who in retaliation stole the keys to the safe where the binoculars were kept. Perhaps with this optical device, the iceberg would have been detected earlier and the collision could have been avoided. There were many celebrities on the liner. Among them, for example, was the millionaire feminist Margaret Brown. She was famous for speaking five languages and swearing a lot in them. After the collision with the iceberg, Margaret helped to put people into lifeboats, but she was in no hurry to leave the ship. Someone forced her into a boat and sent her out to sea. When she reached another ship, Margaret immediately began searching for blankets and food, making lists of survivors, and collecting money. Another famous Titanic passenger, businessman Benjamin Guggenheim, put his companion in a lifeboat. He convinced her that they would see each other soon, though he knew the situation was hopeless. With a valet, he returned to the cabin and changed into his tailcoat, then sat at a table in the central hall and drank whiskey. When someone suggested that they could still try to save themselves, Guggenheim replied that they were dressed according to their position and ready to die like gentlemen. An unredeemed ticket to the Titanic's launch ceremony was auctioned off in London for $56,300. A menu from the liner was sold in New York for $31,300. Another similar menu was sold in London for £76,000. The liner sank to music. The orchestra stood on the deck until the last minute and played a church hymn. In 1991 and 1995, Russian deep submergence vehicles dived to the ship, which is now at a depth of 3.8 kilometers. They made a video, which was featured in James Cameron's famous film. James Cameron's 1997 film Titanic was a hit and was a huge box office success, grossing almost $2 billion. This record was broken only 12 years later by Avatar. The ill-fated black iceberg, or rather its photo, was found 90 years after the Titanic sinking. A few days after the tragedy, a bohemian named Stefan Rohorik sailed nearby on another ship and photographed the iceberg. After careful examination, it was proven that the dents on the iceberg could well have been made by a ship like the Titanic. Jack Dawson, the protagonist of the movie played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is a real person. Cameron states that he came up with the name and that it was all a coincidence. Nevertheless, the real Jack Dawson was a coal trimmer on the Titanic. One mysterious legend says that once every six years, radio operators catch a ghostly SOS signal from the Titanic. It was first reported by the crew of the battleship Theodore Roosevelt in 1972. The radio operator searched in the archives and found some notes of his colleagues saying that they also received strange radiograms from the Titanic in 1924, 1930, 1936, and 1942. In April 1996, the Canadian ship Quebec also received an SOS signal from the Titanic. The Titanic wasn't the only big liner built by the company that owned it. The ship Olympic was built at the same time as the Titanic. In 1911, the Olympic collided with the British cruiser Hawk on its 11th voyage. The latter miraculously stayed afloat, while the Olympic escaped with minor damage. There was also a third ship, the Britannic. It was the most comfortable of the three ships. It had two barber shops, a children's playroom, and a gymnasium for second-class passengers. Unfortunately, passengers did not get the chance to appreciate the advantages of the new liner. Once the war began, it was turned into a hospital ship and was soon blown up by a mine near Greece. However, most of the people on board were saved. The last of the Titanic's passengers died in 2009 at the age of 97. She was two and a half months old at the time of the shipwreck. Friends, tell us in the comments if you know any other interesting facts about the Titanic. The most unusual stories will be featured in the next episode. Give us a like and subscribe if you had a good time. Bye-bye!